This week, skiers and snowboarders around the metro are making the trip out to Taylor's Falls. That's where Wild Mountain is once again one of the first ski hills in our area to open up for the season. Fox 9's Bab Santos was there earlier today to check out the experience. They don't have enough snow to have the entire hill up and running quite yet, but here at Wild Mountain, plenty of people are just happy to take what they can get. We saw the snow and it was over with. We knew we were coming out the next day. Wild Mountain is officially open for the season, welcoming skiers, snowboarders, and tubers this week before the end of October. The result of plenty of hard work from Jesse Schroffnagel's colleagues. So we had a crew that came um, actually over the weekend and through the night they were making the artificial snow. We were waiting for the lower temperatures so that the snow would stay. The sweet spot in this business starts around 20 degrees or lower. So at this point in the season, they aren't taking anything for granted. And while they did get some Halloween snow overnight, the vast majority of what you see here has been artificially made, making for some sticky conditions on the slopes. It's a little <laughs> slow, but it's it's a good it's good to start off the season with some something slow. You can get the feel back. With popular hills closer to the metro area still yet to open, people itching to get out and satisfy any adrenaline cravings have to get a little farther out of town. <laughs> But so far, plenty are making the trek out to Chisago County, even if Mother Nature isn't doing her part quite yet. The snow may melt, uh, depending if we get the rain that's forecasted for the weekend. Otherwise, if the temperatures stay in our favor, we still plan on making snow throughout the evenings. The team at Wild Mountain plans to continue making snow each night as they're now open seven days a week from 1 to 7 p.m. with a $25 ticket. In Chisago County, Bab Santos, Fox 9.